In this video, I'm going to show you how to bleed your brakes, specifically the SRAM guide. Now you should be bleeding your brakes about once a year or whenever that lever is feeling a little bit mushy. Now the purpose of bleeding brakes is to get any air bubbles out of the system. We'll start by removing the wheel. For this job, you'll need some Allen wrenches, our bleed kit, and dot 5.1 fluid. Kit has a syringe for the caliper and one for the lever. You'll also have a bleed block, Torx wrenches, and now's a good time to look at your brake pads and see if you need new ones. First, we'll draw fluid into the lever syringe about three quarters of the way full. Then fill the caliper syringe about a quarter of the way up. Now hold the syringe upright, pull back on the plunger to get all the fluid out of the tube and into the syringe. Then push the fluid up through the syringe and the tube until all the air is removed. Now remove the screw from the lever bleed port and always wipe up any brake fluid that comes out promptly. Install the syringe into the lever bleed port. Now we'll remove the brakes from the caliper. There's a little clip here and a screw. And then they'll just pull out. Now we're inserting the bleed block and reattach the screw. Pull the plug out of the bleed port then we're going to turn the screw about a quarter of a turn and then tighten back down lightly. Attach the caliper syringe by pushing it straight in and you'll hear it click. Then turn it one full turn counterclockwise to open up the port. Do not exceed two full turns here. Now while holding both syringes upright, push down on the plunger on the lever syringe pushing the fluid through the system. Pay attention to the fluid that's coming out. If it is dark and discolored, like mine is here, then you wanna push all of that fluid out and start over the whole procedure with brand new fluid. That's what I had to do here. Now keep doing this back and forth between the two until there's very little to no air bubbles coming out. Now turn the caliper syringe clockwise until it stops to close it off. Then squeeze the brake lever. You'll get some air coming out. Now on the lever syringe, we will alternate between pulling the plunger up, creating a vacuum, drawing the air bubbles out, and then pushing it back down to repressurize the system. And you're gonna do this over and over again until you have little to no air bubbles coming out. This is the final step in removing all of the air. So now we'll take the syringe out of the lever, put the bolt back in place, be sure to wipe up any excess brake fluid. Now we'll remove the syringe from the rear caliper, tighten the bolt back down, put the plug back in place after we wipe it off here. Then we'll remove the bleed block and install the pads. Now I'll put the wheel back on. And now pull the brake lever a few times to get the pistons to come back out. And that's all there is to it. So I hope you found this video helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And if you have any other tips for anyone else watching this video, leave them down below in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.